In this lesson, we're going to be learning about covalent bonding. And covalent bonding is going to help us draw something called Lewis structures, which is just going to be basically a 2D, um, a 2D drawing of compounds. Okay, in this case, covalent compounds. Okay. Um, so just to do like a little bit of a recap, all right. So recall that um, we learned about Lewis dot diagrams, which Lewis dot diagrams, we took the chemical symbol uh, of our element and we drew dots around it based off how many valence electrons um, they have. So for example, boron in group 13 will have three, carbon in group four, well, 14, excuse me, will have four. Um, nitrogen in group 15 will have five. Um, next is oxygen in group 16 will have six. Um, next on our list is chlorine. I'm just going across on the periodic table row two. Um, chlorines in group 17 will have seven and helium will have eight. Okay, so Lewis dot diagrams, this is the first step in drawing Lewis structures. And so basically we're just going to, whenever we come across like a compound, for example, H2O, we draw bonds in between them to show those bonds, okay? But we need Lewis dot diagrams to help us first. Um, so covalent bonding. Um, just to also recap, is a sharing of electrons between a nonmetal and nonmetal. And this is going to cause a bond in between um, those atoms, okay? And overall, it will produce a neutral compound. And so there's a few requirements before starting Lewis structures. And these are just things that you're gonna have to like keep in the back of your mind when starting to draw, okay? Um, so the, so requirements. I tend to like to show these first before we even get to the steps about drawing. So you have these in the back of your head. All right, first requirement, all valence electrons must be shown. Now they can be shown as either um, as a lone pair. So it's just like two little dots or in an actual bond, which will just be a line. Overall, we should see all the valence electrons, okay? Um, two, usually all electrons are paired. So everything needs a friend, okay? Two. So again, this can be a lone pair, which will just be two dots, or we can have a um, bonded pair, well, it should just be noted by a line. You can also draw the two dots as well, okay? Um, usually, all atoms need eight valence electrons. So we've talked about this. Think about ions, okay? Like, for example, group 17. Um, just because they have seven valence electrons, they just need one more to gain to reach that eight and be stable like the noble gases. So um, again, we're looking for stability like our noble gases. Um, also a term to learn, this number eight, it's called octet rule, all right? That's reaching eight, okay? Now here's the issue, um, hydrogen will, will never reach eight, okay? It will only reach two sharing. Okay, because think about it. If I draw hydrogen like this, the only thing that it can do is bond with one more. So two sharing overall, okay? Um, next one, sometimes multiple bonds are needed. Okay, so this could be double or triple. So for example, you might just see a bond like this you might see two electrons from one atom with another atom, that's a double bond. And in some cases you'll see that triple bond, okay? And then lastly, five. Each bond or pair always 
includes, I didn't realize I actually made that step, but I wanted to make sure includes two electrons. So again, two. If you see an electron by itself, you didn't do it right, okay? So everyone needs a friend, okay? All right. So here are the steps to drawing Lewis structures. The first things first, you should count total valence electrons, okay? So if I had, let's say, I'm so bad at making examples, um, CO2. Well, we know carbon has four, oxygen should have six, and there's two of them, so total is, I hate doing math, 16. 16 total, okay? To identify your central atom and surrounding atoms. Generally, in most cases, it will be carbon. So if we look at our example right here, um, car and you can, what you kind of want to do is after you identify your central atom, you will, so if I'm going based off the CO2 case, I'll draw carbon right there, and then the oxygen's on either side. Okay, you draw like a skeleton. I think that's what it's called. Um, next, you're going to connect all atoms with a single bond at first. Okay, so if, if we go based off the same example, all right, and then what's going to happen is you're going to start with outside atoms add electrons until you reach eight. Okay, so if we look at this, I had 16 starting, okay, and right now this is one, two, three, four. So if I subtract four electrons, I have 12 more I have to work with. Sorry, I just want to make sure I have all the steps, okay. So here, um, you'll start with your outside atoms and add electrons until you reach eight. So here's a big issue. So um, I would, you want everything to reach eight, but sometimes not everything's going to reach eight right away. So with oxygen, we know oxygen has six valence electrons. So I'm going to put six around it, um, but I'm not going to go all the way up to eight. So for example, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'll stop there. And then here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So here, 12 minus 10 leaves me with two electrons left. Sorry, I couldn't do math in my head. So I have two electrons left, so I'm going to put two in the middle with the carbon, okay? But yeah, that's step five. If you still have electrons, add two central atom which makes sense because look, carbon has four valence electrons. So one, two, three, four. And then last step, if you are out of electrons and central atom does not have eight, make double or triple bond. So let me redraw what I have right now. So looking at this structure, let's see if there is eight sharing for each of our atoms, okay? So looking at this oxygen right here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six valence, six valence electrons, and then it's sharing a seventh one with carbon. So have I reached eight? No. Now when I look at carbon, I have one, two, three, four which it should have four valence electrons around it, but then it's sharing five, six. So it still needs two more, okay? And so if we look at the oxygens, the oxygens both still need one more. So this is a case um, where um, double bonds need to be formed, okay? And also you should notice, we got some electrons that don't have friends, okay? So that's a big indication that we need to bond. So what's gonna happen is, this electron will bond with this one, and this one will bond with this one, okay? So let me redraw my structure. Okay. 
It doesn't matter how you put those electrons, it's fine. So here, just to make sure, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, sharing seven, eight, which the other oxygen should be eight as well. And then let me make sure my carbon in the middle is good. One, two, three, four, and then sharing five, six, seven, eight. We're good. Okay, so this structure would be done. Okay, and make sure you subtract so we're, we have zero left. I meant to do that after I added them. Okay. All right, so let's do some more examples. So I'm going to do three with you, and then I'm going to give you three other ones. Okay. All right, so carbon has four valence electrons, and then hydrogen has one and there's four, four of them. So we have eight total, okay? Um, so here, I'm gonna let you know this right now. Hydrogen will never be your central atom, okay? So I'm gonna put carbon in the middle and then the hydrogens around, okay? And like our steps, we're gonna do single bond throughout everything. So here, here's one, 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 all right? Since there's four bonds and a bond has two electrons, four times two is eight. So minus eight, I should have zero um, electrons to add. And just to make sure we're good, one, two, three, four, and then sharing five, six, seven, eight. Carbon's good. And remember, hydrogen will never reach eight. Hydrogen will just be one, two. Okay, and so in that case, we are done. Okay, um, I actually have already done this one. Um, let me do an, a different example. Okay, H2S. So here, um, sulfur is six and there's two hydrogen, so we have eight. So I'm gonna draw sulfur in the middle, hydrogen on the side, single bonds. Because there's two bonds, two times two is four, so I have four electrons left. Hydrogen, it's done. So the rest of those electrons are gonna go on the sulfur and we are left with zero. So let me just count to make sure we're good. One, two, three, four, five, six, which it should have six around it because it's six valence electrons, and then it's seven, eight sharing. So we're good. Now you don't have to draw these numbers. I'm just doing it so we can visualize how many there are, okay? I mean, I don't wanna be seeing all these numbers around each of those structures. So technically when you're done, your structure looks like this. Just Plain and simple. All right, next one. All right, I have NF3, so nitrogen is five, and then fluorine seven, so seven times three is 21. So we have 26 to work with. So I'm gonna have nitrogen and then fluorines around. Again, the, re the reason why I realized that is there's three fluorine and one nitrogen. Is there really ever gonna be a case where the fluorine's gonna be in the middle? Uh -uh. So one single bond um, attached, I'm left with 20. And so fluorine should have um, seven valence electrons. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll do that for all of them. And please know our group 17, um, since they just need one bond because one more electron, they will make one bond and that's it, okay? So um, six times three is 18, so I'm left with two electrons, which I'm gonna put on the nitrogen. So if we see here, just to count, I have one, two, three, four, five sharing, oh, excuse me, five valence electrons, and then six, seven, eight. So eight sharing, so we're, we're good on that one. And then just to make sure one of the fluorines is good, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons, and then eight sharing. So this structure is done, okay? All right, I'm gonna give you um, two examples. These are, these are some hard ones, okay? So try your best, um, pause the video, um, see how you do, okay? Find the total, follow those steps, okay? Okay, so looking at this example, um, we have four from the carbon, two from the hydrogen, and 14 from the fluorine, okay? So total is 20. 
all right? And so I, I always told you that carbon's generally going to be your, it's always going to be your central atom, okay? Um, and so in this case, even though um, we have two hydrogens, we have two fluorines, just put it around the carbon. And it's okay if you put the fluorines on top and the hydrogens on bottom, doesn't matter, okay? So here, I'm going to make single bonds throughout. Uh, so 4 times 2 is 8, so I'm left with 12. Um, so the hydrogens are good, and so since basically you should, after realizing this, if carbon makes 4 bonds, it's not going to need any more electrons, because that's 8, okay? Um, so here... 12 divided by 2 is 6. So I'm going to add 6 electrons to each of the fluorines. And again, that's, um, that's 6 plus the 1, that's 7. So everything should be good now. This is my structure, okay? Okay, this one is hard. So here, we have 1 plus 4 plus 5, which is 10. So here... Carbon's in my middle, and we'll have H and N on the side. So I'll make one bond. Which leaves me with six electrons. So here I'm going to put two on. Oh, I should work backwards. So nitrogen needs four. Okay. Because one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I'm left with two, which I'll put on carbon. If you kept this as your structure, this is incorrect, okay? Because look at the carbon. I have one, two, three, four, four valence, which it should have surrounding. But sharing, we only got five, six. So it still needs two more electrons. And then if we look at the nitrogen, we have one, two, three, four, five. Five valence surround. Six sharing, which is not how it should be. So they both need two. So what should we do? We should make a bond, okay? So here, I'm going to get rid of one. I'm going to make a bond. Well, guess what? If we make one bond, they're still at seven. And also, you should be like, ding, 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 ding. We have um, some electrons by themselves. We got we to gotta bond them together, okay? So here... I'm going to take these ones that need one more friend. Oops. Oh, my gosh. And I will make a triple bond, okay? And if you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight sharing. We are good. So, yes, um, this is... Um, Hydrocyanic acid, hydrocyanic acid, totally okay. Well, it's not okay, but it's an acid. Um, but HCN, this is going to be um, what it is, okay? Okay.